What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Press 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Diecast Comparison. I believe this is the 10th tenth, tenth episode. It's been a while since I did recording of the series. All the first nine episodes you saw, all of them were pre recorded um, in January. So, yeah, in case you didn't know, now you know. But as of now, I am filming on Friday, April 2nd. And I do have like a few cars to do side by side comparison. So, yeah. So, let's get started. This is going to be another Jeff Gordon video. And this is going to be on Jeff Gordon's 2009 DuPont Impla SS and his 2013 Chrome Max Pro. So, of course, look at this. The paint scheme, they're similar. But, of course, there's so many differences with a four year difference. What is it? Well, let's find out, shall we? All right, so here we go. So both of these, of course, have the iconic number 24. Pepsi's here, ARP's here, DuPont's still there. Pepsi Max and Chrome Max Pro's there, Chrome Max Pro's there. Both of them had Quaker State, National Guard was on Gordon. Um, the eight pillars, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, crap, hold on. I th are they some? No, there's like some sponsors that are not there. Like, there's Bosch, Siemens, Hendrick Motorsports, Mac Tools, uh, all that fun stuff. And then you got the contingency sponsors. Yeah, that's just depressing. But unfortunately, we get less contingency sponsors after 2013. And on the hood, we got DuPont, Chrome X Pro, Gordon's last name on the banner. Uh, Chevy logo, I'm Play SS, Chevy logo, Chevrolet SS, 24 on the headlights, 24 under the headlights. Hedger Motorsports on the headlights, uh, 24 under the headlights. And then, uh, same side as the left. Um, you got uh, www.p824.com for both. Chevy logo on top. No, uh, Quaker State 24, 24 in the headlights. SS Chevy logo and 24 in the roof for both with Glide Wind Paint. That's what it says. And DuPont and Drive to One Hunger. All right, so. Hold on. All right. All right. I think that ought to do it. Okay, so. Of course, although the paint scheme is similar, of course, there are big differences when it comes to sponsors, car bodies, generation cars, all that fun stuff. The main colors are yellow, orange, some green, some yellow, and black. And both splitters, they're yellow, of course. And the rear bumper, there's a wing. There's a black spoiler. All that fun stuff. <sighs> All right. And of course, the sponsors are different, I believe. All right. Sorry for this video being slow or whatever. Just, I'm fucking yawning. <sighs> Sorry about that. Okay. All right. If I were to pick between the 2009 car and the 2013 car, of course, pretty much no brainer. Um, the 2009 car, of course, because of Dupont and all that stuff. It is iconic. Of course, like thankfully they brought it back in 2013 on the Gen 6 for Crovax Pro, Exalta, all that foot stuff. Like the 2013 car is nice, it really is. How could I go wrong with the flames? But I just think 2009 is better because it's just iconic, more iconic than Chromax Pro. 
Although the scheme in general is just iconic. Yeah, take a shot every time I say iconic. <laughs> but yeah, regardless of what I voted, these are pretty cool paint schemes, awesome die cast. But 2009 for the win. So what do you guys think? Which car is better, 2009 or 2013? So that's gonna do it for this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that was fast. And I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Follow my social accounts. Um, don't forget to turn on... Fuck. <sighs> don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Thank you guys so much for supporting EA Nation. This is the Impress 48 signing off, and I have a good one. Goodbye, everybody.